This is so not aesthetic. Why do you follow me? It's not even a good oatmeal today. Good morning, another day of eating. Here we are. Whenever I go, I think maybe three videos without posting what I eat in a day. You always comment, Jacqueline, I need to do what I eat in a day. Here I am, you know, it's the holiday season. It's the time of giving. I'm just trying to give the people what they want. I'm gonna confess, I meant to film this like last week. You know when you're like stocked up on groceries, you bought a couple of new things and you're like making, you know, different dishes or experimenting a bit more. Yeah, so that was when I meant to film this because I was like, oh, I'm gonna give them some new recipes. I've actually been having um, the liquid just egg. I feel like it might have been available here in Canada, but it wasn't as like widely available. So I've been using that and making more of a savory breakfast, which is very unlike me. And then I was like, oh, I'll film it, give them some variety. And then no, I think I made a TikTok about it. So you're missing out on good stuff over there. But I think we're going back to the classics today. First things first, I've been super into having matcha lately in the morning. Let's make a matcha. Let's make a matcha. Now, as much as I love my frother, I still love my blender matcha. So I just take the tiniest bit of water. You really don't need a lot. And then I like to warm up my milk as well. At this point, I know you all know my thoughts. Soy is forever superior. Unless you're soy intolerant, then don't have soy. So I feel like whenever I'm cooking for myself, my goal is to use the least amount of dishes and cups possible because I hate doing the dishes. But today, I'm going to use another cup because you've got to see also the state of this cupboard is a bit shocking. I'm just constantly overflowing and have too many things and need to be more minimalist in my life. Needless to say, I got a new mug. You always comment on my videos about like my dishes and stuff and my cups. Most of the time, other than that one tiger cup, which it's probably in my dishwasher because I've used it. Wait, where is that? Claire? Oh, other than this mug here, and yes, I have two dishwashers, if you didn't know that. I don't really understand that. Other than that mug, pretty much all of my mugs are from David's Tea. Now this one, it was like a Halloween mug, but I just think this is like the coolest thing ever. It's a skull and you're just gonna have to wait for the big reveal. So now this is my warm milk, again, David's Tea. There's been two David's Tea matchas that I've been loving lately. I've got the maple matcha here and then I've got the vanilla chai. And I don't measure it, I just kind of like, oh. Okay, that was definitely like enough for three matchas, but you know what, we're gonna have a very potent matcha latte today. So the technique, a little bit of boiling water. If you've never seen my blender matcha before. I'd say that's enough. You don't wanna water it down too much. Then you could put the milk in right away, but for some reason I always like to just blend the water in the matcha first. It's just a little blend. <laughs> So no dribbles. Ooh, I think that's pretty good. And then just blend again. It's really that simple, folks. Now, this is gonna be the best part. Are you even ready? Have I showed this cup in a video so far? Did I do this last time? Now I feel like I've already shown this to you. I can't remember. I'm losing track of time. Okay, get ready, get ready. Too much. Oh my god. Are you seeing this? It's a little skull. Ooh. You know what? Maybe I have to put more matcha in when I make it because this tastes like the right amount. I thought I was gonna put too much in. It's really weird. I've been like in, I don't wanna say an anti coffee phase lately, but I feel like in the summer, I was drinking a coffee every day, which that isn't really, it's not me. I'm not someone who has to have a coffee every day. I think I just got into the habit of it. And obviously, I enjoy the taste and stuff, but past couple of weeks, I've just not been feeling a coffee. So I haven't made coffee and I've just been on the matcha or like even just like a black tea. Oh my God, this is so good. Okay, so put more scoops in your matcha. This is your sign. I'm done. This is amazing. Amazing. Okay, now for actual breakfast. I need a bowl. I need a bowl. So again, like I was saying, been a very savory breakfast gal lately. I don't know if it's just like the colder weather and actually, does that make any sense at all? I was gonna say the colder weather makes me wanna eat more savory. I guess, like in a way, like, I mean, I'm normally a big smoothie gal or like, I don't know, summer just feels like I should be eating sweet things and sometimes fall, winter, it's more savory. 
But all that to say, I've been having a lot of like bagels for breakfast with like either vegan cream cheese. I just tried the BioLife cream cheese. It's so good. Actually, I have a really good little snack combo that I've been doing. I will show you that later today. So yeah, bagels. I've been having even um like avocado toast. I've been doing peanut butter and jam toast too, but more savory. And then the just egg. I've been making like breakfast sandwiches even. Sorry, I'm all talk, no game. I mean, like I said, <laughs> go to my TikTok or Instagram if you want more of the exciting breakfast. It's somehow always, why is this like, ugh. That felt so wrong. I think when I film these, what I eat in a day, it's more just like I'm in my routine. And then it's the days that I'm not filming that I wanna try something different, which is just so unfortunate for you if you're trying to get new video ideas or inspo. Why do you watch these videos? Is it for like food inspo? Are you vegan? Are you looking to eat more plant-based? Is it just a comfort video? I don't know. This matcha is the best matcha latte I think I've ever made. I think I might go on record to say that. Okay, let's prep the ingredients for the oatmeal. I'm not gonna lie, it's like a Friday today. My cupboards feel very bare. I haven't gone grocery shopping in a while, but I personally like watching what I eat in a day videos when people kind of don't have all the perfect ingredients and they're a bit more uh, crafty. Maybe I'm just justifying my inconsistent grocery shopping habits. Oh, I've kind of, this is really dry oatmeal. I've also ran out of protein powder and I've been out probably for a month. Jacqueline, just buy more protein powder. But you know, I've been really into the protein oat game and now eating oatmeal without my protein powder in it just doesn't taste the same and I miss it. So I think maybe that was the first reason. It was so cute. I ordered um flour, oh, Jesus. I've got a busy day. I have a busy day too, I'm excited, mom. I've got lots of, Good things I'm gonna get off my list today. Also, can you go down to your concierge? Why is there a package there? Yeah, I just got a call. From my concierge? No, 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 from someone delivering something. Hi. <laughs> ah, she doesn't know it's for her. Sometimes I'll send packages to my parents' house, so I think she thinks it's one package for me. Wow, the vlog is gonna be here for it all. I hope you're here when she calls back and she sees the flowers. I think she's gonna love them. She loves a flower, loves a flower moment. Why does it feel like there's so much apple? I feel like I keep cutting the apple and it's not done. This is so not aesthetic. Why do you follow me? It's not even a good oatmeal today. Okay, I'm getting to, this is really sad. I'm getting to the bottom of the jar. Like, look at that. Why is the lighting kind of amazing right now? It's very contrasty, a bit moody. So I'm gonna do a scoop of the peanut butter on top. I feel like, are my, are the oats? I can't tell if they're dry or not. I like to do instant steel cut oats and these are just regular quick oats and I feel like I've been very confused by them. A Little bit of cinnamon on top. And I think to make it a bit more exciting, shall I do a little bit of shredded coconut? A little bit of shredded coconut. Okay, not the most exciting, but you know what? I think I need to address the feeling of why I feel the need to perform and make incredible meals every day. When the reality is, 85% of the time I'm eating the same things. I think that's probably normal, right? I don't know, is that? Also, can you hear my washing machine? It is so aggressive. Is that like a, I feel like that's like an elderly habit. Like, you know how, <laughs> I think of my grandparents, they eat like the same thing every single day. My grandpa's so cute. He'll like cut like half a banana. It's like, I only want half. And he'll just like cut it and leave like a half open banana. I actually, I started doing that because of him. Oh my God, this maple matcha is seriously the best thing ever. I used to be obsessed with David's tea vanilla matcha, but I think the maple matcha has a beat. Oh, and look at my camel back. If you bought a camel back because of me, comment down below, I need to know the influence. I want to work with Camelback so bad and they replied one time and they're like, oh, we only work with athletes. Am I not an athlete? That was really confronting. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not an athlete, but uh, it was very confronting and I was like, oh, I understand. But comment below if you bought a Camelback because of me, I need to know. Look at how pretty these are. Guys, I'm in like, oh, Jesus. Just jabbed myself in the gut. I'm kind of in a silly, goofy mood today. Woohoo! Oh, my right nostril is leaking. Um, I am in a zesty mood. I don't know if it's because it's Friday. I'm feeling motivated. I feel like, you know, okay. Mm. Okay, so this is actually why I'm in a excited mood, I think. Holiday season is always, holiday and Halloween. The end of the year is always the busiest time for me with work. I think one, as a makeup artist, Halloween time is just inherently very busy. And I was really fortunate that this Halloween season was that way. And Christmas, Black Friday, there's so many sales, consumerism, purchase things, and I totally get it. And um, it's just been very busy with 
with work. Needless to say, this time of year, I normally feel like I have at least one mental breakdown. I also have my birthday coming up in December. My birthday is December 15th. I'm turning 24, which that I don't identify. I don't identify with that. 24 just seems so much older than 23. And I just also don't even feel 23. I forever feel like a teenager. I can't explain it, but I got my birthday. Then it's Christmas, New Year's, all the things. And since this time of year is normally so busy, I'm burnt out by work and I'm just exhausted. I never want to do anything for my birthday. And then I feel like bouts of seasonal depression and all of that mixed together. By the time December hits, I'm normally a bit miserable. Weirdly enough, I'm feeling very excited and giddy and I don't know. I'm just looking forward to the next month. I think a big part of it is too, is I'm going to be traveling for the first time. Haven't traveled obviously since COVID and um, my family is going on a vacation. We're going to be in LA and I'm just, I'm so excited to spend time with my parents and we have a bunch of family like visiting while we're there. And I'm just like excited to just hang, you know, I'm also planning when I'm on vacation to, I think take a break for at least two weeks, maybe three weeks. But all I want to do is just like make TikTok vlogs and like, I don't know, like lower pressure things, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm just excited to have a little break and a little reset, even though I'm not feeling burnt out. And like, I'm like, I need to just be off my computer. Like that's normally where I'm at by Christmas. I'm like, I'm going offline for two weeks. I'm not even gonna look at my phone, but I feel like I've got like a healthy balance of it. I'm like, oh yeah, like I want to be on my phone and I want to take pictures, but I don't want it to be like, burr, 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 like super strict, right? Anyway, so I'm just really looking forward to that. And I feel like it is like the end of November right now. It's going to come very quickly. And I'm just ready for it. I think what I like meant to say though, is that because of that, I've told a lot of my partners and clients that I work with that I'm gonna be away and we need to get everything done early, which is actually, I think the best thing I could have ever done because now it's forcing them to like get their feedback or concepts and campaigns approved way quicker. So that way, sure, I can go live with certain pieces of content while I'm away and on vacation. I just don't wanna be like editing and filming and doing all that when I'm there. It's fine to just hit post and go live, but I don't wanna be shooting it all when I'm on vacation. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, getting everything done a bit early has been like, actually the best thing so today I have one more campaign that I have to shoot as of now and then I think I'm pretty much like ahead and done everything so then the last couple of weeks I can just focus on like getting ahead of YouTube content and like kind of pre-filming a bunch of that stuff so I feel like just mentally I'm like oh I'm feeling good like I'm just not feeling behind and I feel like in the day of the digital age you can chronically just feel like you're always behind because you should always be posting more you should always be doing this and like there's just a lot of um I guess like pressure and again not from like it's not like you guys commenting putting pressure on me it's more just like internalized pressure that I just feel like I should be doing something feeling guilty if I take a day off I think I just need a hair anyways I'm feeling good today should be a good day it's pretty busy I have two YouTube videos I want to shoot get this campaign done I have a workout at five o'clock and then it's Friday night baby mm. mom Jacqueline why did you do that I'm gonna cry oh don't cry why are you crying are they cute Oh, don't cry. Thanks, Penny. It was very sweet. Mm -hmm. It made me cry. Oh, but wait, did you read the note? I just did. Well, I can't they're not. I'm gonna cry more. Aww, I appreciate you. Show the vlog them. They're beautiful. Wow. Oh my God, that was so cute. She's literally crying. Oh, now I'm gonna cry. Why is this the longest intro breakfast ever? Okay, two videos down, one to go. Feeling so productive. I look outside, it is snowing. The first snowfall of Toronto. I normally hate snow. I'm excited for snow this year. The one thing about snow that I love is snowboarding and ski season, and I am so ready for it this year. This is your reminder, drink your water. I drink at least two of these a day. On my best day, sometimes four or five. One, always when I wake up, like I do a full liter and then a liter throughout the day. I used to be very like intense about it and would like just force myself to drink all the time, especially more when I had like acne and like everyone was saying, drink your water, drink your water. Now I feel like other than when I wake up, like I obviously crave a ton of water. So I like to drink a full liter right when I wake up. Now I let myself be like, I guess a bit more intuitive about it. Like when I'm thirsty, I'll drink. I'm not as like, oh, it's been an hour, drink another glass of water kind of thing. Um, Which I don't know, I guess like each extreme can be not good. So finding somewhere in the middle is probably best. But if you have a drink in any water today, you should drink some water. Go drink some water. Okay, my parents are the cutest. They just dropped off some groceries. Like how lucky am I to live in Toronto near my parents with family around? I'm just, 
very, very grateful. I really am. I'm also so hungry right now. I need to make a quick snack, but I have two more hours until that workout class. And I want to film one more thing before then, but let's do a quick unboxing. Here is the bag of groceries. She got me Beyond Sausage, mild Italian, a cucumber. Is my mic on? Is my mic on? Oh, I swear I have nightmares. Okay. Oh. Oh, we have an app popping out at this angle. Okay. Oh, impossible meat. She did say she had a coupon for that. Two impossible meat. She should have kept one. And then lettuce. Lettuce. Are these her groceries? Why do I feel like she bought doubles and these are for her? Potatoes. I have no specific vision in mind. I just knew that I needed potatoes. Oh, here we go. Instant steel cut oats. This is what I need. Regular oats don't cut it. If you don't like oatmeal, you need to try instant steel cut oats instead. Regular rolled oats aren't the same. These are so much better. My boy, the one constant man of my life, Mr. Quaker oatmeal. Okay, and then last but not least, oh, we got some Amy soup. Minestrone, is that how I say that? Minestrone soup? Minestrone. Lentil soup, love that. And then lentil vegetable. That was so nice. What a fun little haul. Okay, let me put those away and then I'm gonna show you my favorite snack as of lately. You're not gonna believe how easy this snack is and I can't explain it to you. Once you eat it, you'll understand. It's gonna sound weird. It's so good. Okay, you need pretzel sticks. Then you're gonna need some vegan cream cheese. This is the BioLife one. It's the new like chive one. It's so, so good. And then you're gonna need a French onion jam. Oh my God. So I understand that this does not look like anything crazy, but just wait. A dip in the cream cheese, a dip in the jam. Mmm. How do I even explain the flavor? This is gonna sound weird. But if you're having like a cream cheese Danish, like the mix of like the creamy cheese and like the fruit jam, it's the same concept, like the cheese and the jam. It works together so well. Honestly, I feel like BioLife as a brand has been killing it lately. Like all of their cheeses are actually so good. So if you're not vegan and you're scared of vegan cheese, I mean, you have every reason to be. There's some scary ones out there. BioLife is really good. Mm. Oh, I needed some food. I am very food affected. Like if I miss a meal, I'm like very hangry. Like if I'm not, I'm just, I'm not me when I'm hungry. Like I know some people are okay about that. I can feel myself fading and I just need like a little, a little snack, a little something. I mean, if not a proper meal, but this will be perfect. This will be exactly what I need to just give me the energy to finish filming. And then I'll hopefully have time to make like a mini lunch before I go work out. That's kind of tricky though. Cause you don't want to eat too much right before you work out. I do like hit style F45 workouts. And if you've eaten too much right before, it feels like you're going to puke. So it is three, 12 right now. I think I'll be done filming in like an hour and then we'll see. We'll see if I have time to make a good lunch. Might be another snack. Mm. Not normal. Okay, that was delicious, but all that snack did was make me realize actually how badly I need lunch. I'm hungry, I'm gonna make lunch. So I'm gonna make a kind of beefed up, non-boring sal- beefed up, <laughs> what a vegan thing to say. Um, a non-boring salad. I'm gonna make some tofu in the oven. So let's preheat and get chopping our vegetables. If you don't use your oven as more storage, I can't relate to you, I'm sorry. I have to take off my rings when I use a knife. I feel like I can't explain it. I can't cook when I have rings on and I always have rings on. So I've had this tofu sitting out to thaw. So what I do is pretty simple. I'm just gonna strain this. So you can like buy a tofu press, but I literally just squeeze it by hand. And I always like to freeze my tofu and then let it thaw in the fridge. It makes the texture a bit better. And again, you know my style, minimal dishes, minimal cleanup. So like ideally to make this the best version it could be, you would let this like soak and marinate, but it will still taste just fabulous without doing that. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some soy sauce. Boom. I'm just gonna add some oil, garlic powder, and then the ingredient that is holding the vegan society on its back, nutritional yeast. I'm generous. I like a lot of topping. So ideally this would be in a bowl. It would marinate perhaps overnight. Not here. In Jacqueline's kitchen, we fly by the seat of our pants. I'm gonna use this very gross old silicone mat to um, toss the ingredients together. Give it a little mixy without getting my hands dirty. Is this doing anything? Actually, I think it is. I would, folding it, folding. There we go. In the oven, 20-ish minutes. Let's pop it in. Stunning. Hey Google, set a timer for 20 minutes. 
Honestly, 2022 goal, get Google Home to sponsor a video. I'm a huge fan. I love your product. Okay, so I have a weird pile of leftover arugula. Uh, would I say this is good? Mm, you know what? No more. That is garbage. What would we have done if my lovely mother didn't buy me 8 million heads of lettuce? Okay, I have the end of a weird head of lettuce. See what I mean? Like my fridge is in a dire state. So I'm just gonna roughly chop the rest of that. Use all the old product up first. The old product, the old produce. This is not a makeup tutorial. I'm also manifesting one day I will have an island and you will get more than just this one angle. But you know what? For the time being, I'm not mad. This is how to make a salad in five minutes, minus the tofu. Maybe this should be the angle. Oh my God, I found a lone, just found a lone tofu sitting there. Why am I so disgusting? Is it bad if I just toss it in there? Oops. Okay, a little bit of pepper. Oh, I need a new knife so badly, or I need to sharpen it. How do you sharpen a knife? Do I need to buy a sharpening thing? Oh, this knife is so blunt. Tomato, tomato. Okay, super simple. Final spot will be for the tofu. Ooh, I might have some cranberries. Let me add those on top. I'm gonna shake up a dressing. Okay, I'm gonna add in some flax oil into the dressing. A little bit of mustard. Ooh. Ew, the dried part got in it. That's gross. Apple cider vinegar, olive oil, salt, pepper, and I'm gonna add in Italian seasoning. And that's gonna be it for the dressing. And then we're gonna pour this on top and our tofus should be ready in like eight minutes. Ooh, okay, I might start eating this because I'm hungry and time is of the essence and I'll add the tofus in at the end. Okay. Health is wealth. I gotta say, I do incredible work when I don't mean to. That salad dressing, amazing. Okay, so it's been in for 20 minutes. It honestly can go in a bit longer. I'm gonna scoop some out though and I'll cook the rest and I'll be leftovers for tomorrow. But I'm hungry, okay? And this will go back in the oven. Let me put this mat back on. Oh no. Oh no. Tofu's a fell. It fell off. A tofu. Okay. Okay, we're all good. We survived. Look at the little tofu salad. Ooh, the sun is peeking through the clouds finally. It's been such a gloomy day. The tofus are great. They could be more crispy. Like you can make them more crispy, but they're also really good. Not super crispy. I just love tofu. I've talked about this before, but for the first couple years when I was vegan, I was like 16, 17. Like I was already like the one who was eating different and like no one else. Not a lot of other people at the time had like different food restrictions. So I didn't want to make myself seem super weird, you know? So I was like a tofu hater. I was like, ew, tofu. Like I don't eat that because I thought it would be cooler. I don't know. So for so many of my first vegan years, I didn't eat tofu. It's so good. So I'm making up for it now. Okay, I'm gonna scarf this down. Back to work, then work out. Okay, all ready for F45. I didn't take off my makeup. Again, a rogue choice, but we live. Let's go. Oh, bye B. Okay, just finished some F45. I have Lauren here. She's actually an old cheer friend and we ran like what? Reconnect like two months ago? Yeah, yeah, I think I saw her walking on the street and I was like, Lauren from cheer? So she moved here, so we've been working out. We're gonna have a little night out. Just made some spicy marks. I think they're pretty solid. They're really good, honestly. I used to heat on the rim and I feel like that's kind of the move. It's like the perfect amount of spice. Anyways, we look hideous right now. We're gonna get glam. I don't know what else. Oh, I had a piece of toast with peanut butter. That was our like pre-game yeah. pre meal. The night might take a turn, unclear. So I think this is where the vlog ends, honestly. <laughs> Wish us luck. Oh, good morning. It is the next day. We had such a fun time last night. We met up with some other friends when we were out. We were having margaritas. It was just like nice to be social and go out and have it feel somewhat normal. 
We had an absolute hoot. Feeling amazing today. Oh, what I did forget to add, after our delicious spicy margaritas, we had a piece of toast. We're like, we're just gonna have like a little something, a little bite to eat. We weren't that hungry. And then we were sitting down and like doing our makeup for like two hours. And we're like, mm, maybe we should order some food before we go out. So we got some pad thai. I love getting this vegan pad thai from Pie. It's not a completely vegan restaurant, but they do this really good at vegan like tofu veggie pad thai option, which is amazing. So I had a little bit of that before we left. And then I put it in the fridge and I was like, I know I'm gonna want this when I get back. So I ate it in my bed and fell asleep and it was actually exactly what my soul needed. Anyway, since I didn't show you a fun recipe for dinner, I actually filmed, I don't know why I decided to film. Like a week ago, I was at my parents and we were like making a nice dinner and I was like, you know what, let me film this. So I will insert that dinner in here so you can see what I ate last week for dinner because that's more exciting than just being like, I got takeout, roll the clips. So I offer new services. Whoa, bartender, baby. Get the ice. I need more ice. Ice to the brim. So, um, hello, I'm Jacqueline Forbes. I also offer at-home chef services. For nostalgia points, I made his mother's coleslaw, just a sampling because it actually needs to set overnight. We have, oh, my marinade, my spices for my cauliflower. So we're gonna do a roasted cauliflower. I rediscovered that I owned a mandolin and I mandolined everything in this salad. Also, this is plastic wrap. I'm against it, but pretend you don't see that. We're gonna do veggie sausages, like pigs in blanket style. Turns out these crescent roll things are accidentally vegan, these Pillsbury ones. Um, so that's amazing. And then I made a beautiful homemade cocktail for my parents because my love language is feeding people and look at my little garnishes. So I prep this all at home because my mom hates when I make a mess and I make a mess when I cook. So don't laugh, ma'am. I just wanna see what you do. I honestly don't even know really what this is. I think there's, is whiskey and bourbon the same thing? That's in it. It's like lemonade-y. I made a homemade ginger syrup, fresh lemon. Now this is absolutely pathetic because it's the wrong glassware. Don't, don't eat the toothpick. Okay. Love you. And our appetizers of pigs and blankets will be out soon. Cheers. Cheers. Say it in a better voice. Cheers. Cheers. Stop it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get to work. I'll see you in a second. Oh my gosh, these look crazy. Sure, that's so cute. So my mom can't eat tofu. She has like a tofu allergy. So she always saves it when she gets her fresh bowls. She saves it for me. We're gonna do a little salad first and the pigs in blanket for the appetizer. And then we've got the roasted veggies. That'll be coming out later. A little salad appetizer. Why is getting someone else to make the salad dressing always just taste better? Mmm, tastes like childhood. I don't think I've ever had those hot dogs before. I think someone commented before, Danny, that they were sad that you weren't sitting with us. And they said, why do you not let him sit with you? Am I in the frame? I don't mean to be. <laughs> just for context, my parents live in a small condo. They just have like a little bistro table. So there's just two seats. There's two other seats at the island. We're not not including my father. So these came out of the oven. So good. I don't think I've ever tried the, um, what is this? Like the Yves sausage, but it's actually really good. Hot. Hot. Oh, wow, we're really hot. We're really good. Major success. Oh, I'm so full. You know what time it is, Survivor. We're filming what I eat in a day. You know better. Show the people what they want to know. The best ice cream. I would go on record to say, in the city, Honey's Strawberry Ice Cream. Cashew and coconut based. It is the best vegan ice cream I've ever had. It is so good. I like to like sit out, get a little melty, and then I'll eat it. Oh, I needed this night. Oh, my body is so sore from gymnastics class. <laughs> Oh, you've got to watch the vlog. I somehow didn't hurt myself, but I am sore. Okay, so that is it for my what I eat in a day today. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Follow, subscribe, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, at Jacqueline Forbes everywhere. Thank you so much. I love you all. And thanks for always making such a positive community. Like you all are so kind and thoughtful in the comments and I just respect that. Okay, bye.